Hey guys, today we're checking out Blade Runner 2049 from 2017. Let's get to it. We're watching the sequel. I don't even know if it is a sequel. I don't know anything about it, so I'm really excited. I really loved the first Blade Runner. I just watched it a few days ago, so make sure you check that out if you missed it. It was awesome, and it really, it really got me thinking. I'm just gonna say straight out, I think Harrison Ford was a replicant. Maybe I'm wrong. Replicants are bioengineered humans designed by Tyrell Corporation for off use off world. Their enhanced strength made them ideal slave labor. After a series of violent rebellions, their manufacture became prohibited and Tyrell Corporation went bankrupt. So, the collapse of ecosystems in the mid 2020s led to the rise of industrialist Nyander Wallace, whose mastery of synthetic farming averted famine. Interesting. Wallace acquired the remains of Tyrell Corporation and created a new line of replicants who obey. Many older model replicants, Nexus 8s with open-ended lifespans survived. They are hunted down and retired. Those that hunt them still go by the name Blade Runner. Right, so someone also told me after the original Blade Runner that Rachel was an open-ended one and had no expiration date. I didn't realize that, so that's good to know. Oh, this is similar to the opening of the last one. That's like the almost the exact same shot as was in the first one, right? California 2049. Oh, I really loved the music in the first one too. It was awesome. Is this the industrial farms? Oh, I love the bum, bum, bum. The sounds in the first one were so intense. Ooh, look at these. I feel like the effects are obviously gonna be a little bit updated, so. It's still quite good in the, in the 82 one. A little bit desolate. Is someone home? Oh, that, <laughs> that noise startled me. something boiling on their stove when they're not in the house. That's so dangerous. Maybe in the future it's not dangerous anymore. Sitting in the shadows. I hope you don't mind me taking the liberty. I was careful not to drag in any dirt. The liberty of just coming in. You police. Are you Sapper Morton? Civic number NK68514. Is he a replicant? I'm a farmer. Your bag. It's colonial medical use. Military issue. He's military? He's a farmer? Plan on taking me in. Take a look inside. If taking you in is an option, I would much prefer that to the alternative. This is so cordial if it is him, if he's supposed to either take him in or kill him. If you could just look up and to the left, please. Got you. He was expecting it. Oh my god. It's an homage to the first one where the dude put his head through the wall. Oh, he's so strong. I hope you're a good fighter. <laughs> Please don't get up. Is he just gonna shoot him? How does it feel killing your own kind? I don't retire my own kind because we don't run. Right, okay, okay. He is a replicant. And you new models are happy scraping the shit. They're both replicants. He's new model. Got it. Because you've never seen a miracle. Oh, the sound of that gun. That's not what I was expecting. Future gun. All right, so he's the new model and he obeys. Ew, he has to take his eye. It's to prove the kill, I guess. Yeah. What about like his body and his house and everything? His dinner. Just photograph everything. So he is a replicant and he knows it. That's the thing. If Harrison Ford in the last one is a replicant, he did not know it or he didn't say it anyway. Maybe he's not, but I really thought he was. He went AWOL after Calantha with a few more in his outfit. I wouldn't mind closing out. Wonder if you'll have to hunt down a sexy lady next. Come on home for your baseline. One moment, man. Now they said that they obey, but I wonder just how much autonomy they have. Somebody buried there? The implication too is if he is a Blade Runner and he's a replicant, that the old Blade Runners were also replicants, right? 30 meters to maximum depth. Something's buried there. What is that? I'll send a dig tape. Come on home before the storm. Storm. It was raining constantly in the first one. Oof. Sounds. He looks depressed. I do love Ryan Gosling. I saw him recently in Remember the Titans. Check that one out if you missed it. Recall saying that I watched him on a Canadian TV show when he was a teenager, and that's why I love Ryan Gosling. One of my first crushes. Look, it's raining again. It always rains in the city, maybe. Ooh, Ooh 
these sounds. Oof, oof, oof. I want to turn it up. Make it louder. Cells. Cells. Have you ever been in an institution? Post-traumatic baseline test. When you're not performing your duties, do they keep you in a little box? Cells. Cells. Interlinked. Interlinked. I'm getting chills. Constant K. Wow. You can pick up your bonus. Well, that was intense. A baseline test. Oh, the ads, man. They were just like blasting. Wow. This probably is the future of the ads. Like just commercials yelling at you constantly. Okay, I didn't hear you. You're early. Does he have a wife? I had an accident at work. I think I ruined my shirt. Do you want a drink first? Mm-hmm. Pour me one, will ya? I still don't know if replicants can get drunk. Okay, it's ready. I hope you're gonna like it. What is this? Is it a robot? And yet. Ah, like a hologram wave. Voila. I missed you, baby sweet. This is like the future. Hologram wife. She's very beautiful. That's the girl from Knives Out. What's a day? Check out Knives Out. I loved it. Let's dance. Do you want to dance or do you want to open your present? That's so cool. She can just change and be whatever he needs at that time. What is it? An emanator. Emanator detected. I am so curious about all the tech in this. This is so cool. I mean, it's cool, but it's also like a little, a little horrifying looking into the future of AI, you know? Thank you. What does it do? Honey, you can go anywhere you want in the world now. She's not just stuck there. Where do you want to go first? Is it like if he just brings that little stick with him, she can be a hologram anywhere? That would be handy though for lonely people, you know? Just like, doesn't have to be a wife either, just like a best friend. Can she feel the rain? Does he love her? Can he? Can she? I'm so happy when I'm with you. You don't have to say that. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, my God. The digs come through. We have a new lead. Get down here. I am curious what was in that hole, but that's... Uh, just when they're having a moment, she freaking freezes. Play a message. Yeah, she's not real. Even, I mean, I was getting into it. I don't know, but what, like, what is real? I don't know. It's body. Well, it's a spine. It's bones. Whose body is this? <gasps> Your box is a military footlocker issued to Sapper Morton. The soil samples indicate that she's been buried for 30 years. She. Cause of death, Coco? Mm, she died in childbirth. What's that? Go back. Closer. Zoom and hints. You know I love a zoom and hints. Notching in the iliac crest. That looks like an emergency C section. So the baby might be alive. So where's the kid? So the kid must be alive. Maybe he ate it. Maybe he ate it. Come on. I think the kid's alive. I think the woman died trying to give birth and then took the baby out. You see something? Oh, I see. She's a replicant. That gave birth? Is that what that means? How? Huh? Well, yeah, I feel like I need a drink. Replicants can give birth. So what you saw didn't happen. Yes, madam. I have so many questions. You want it gone? Erase everything. Even the child? All trace. Does he have to track down the child? Is the child a replicant? I guess he would be. I've never retired something that was born before. What's the difference? To be born is to have a soul, I guess. Right. Are you telling me no? I wasn't aware that was an option, then. I wonder if he'll ever rebel against them. You've been getting on fine without one. What's that, madam? A soul. I think he has a soul. I mean, we saw in the last one, the last replicant to die, he said that like beautiful speech and he had like, he's like, he saved Harrison Ford. He had like a moment of humanity. And your new models are at this shit because you've never seen a miracle. Right, he did say that. Yes, if two replicants had a kid, that is a miracle. Wallace Corporation, Earth Headquarters. Those voices, wow, wow, wow. It reminds me of Dune. Check out Dune if you missed it. I love the music in Dune. Confirmation DNA. I have hair. Just carrying around a bag of hair, you know how it is. You can customize them as much as you'd like, but your operation is strictly a drill site, isn't it? I wouldn't waste your money on intelligence, unless you'd like to add some pleasure models to your order. Still got pleasure models in the future. I mean, 
that would make sense. Everyone remembers where they were at the blackout. That was a little before my time. The blackout. Lights came back, we were wiped clean. Every bit of data, gone. It's funny, it's only paper that lasted. Oh man, can you imagine? Only paper. Standard issue made by Tyrell. Unremarkable. There must be something else we can find, right? Who is this? Who are you, lady? A 30-year-old open case finally closed. I'm here for Mr. Wallace. I'm love. He named you. Mm. Must be special. Ooh, these voices. The outer colonies would never have flourished had he not bought Tyrell, revivified the technology. Revivified, not revived. All the junk is in here. Lucky for you, Mr. Wallace is a data hoarder. All the junk, huh? All our memory bearings from the time. They were all damaged in the blackout. But there are sometimes fragments. What is this? This one, the first movie. It's Harrison Ford and Rachel. It was unclear what she was, at least to someone. We were difficult to spot then. She the woman that died? Was there anything unusual about how you found her? You know how people are about old serial numbers. She likes them. Who? This Officer Deckard. Oh, yeah. He's smart. You worked with Officer Deckard back in the day. What can you tell me about him? I like to work alone. That's the dude that was like watching him, following him around. And the origami dude. Any idea how I could contact him? He's new Diaz. Retired. What happened? He probably got what he wanted. Be alone. Origami. If he's a replicant, retired means dead. But maybe he's not a replicant and retired just means retired. All right, that's a clue towards he's not a replicant. You wanted to review the new model, sir, before shipment? Can you at least pronounce a child is born? He seems very shady sitting in the shadows like that. Well, let us see her then. He is a replicant. Isn't he? His eyes. Ew. Is this how they're born? Happy birthday. She's crying. Now let's have a look at you. Is he a human? He's got robot eyes. Oh no, he's not human. No, no, no. Well, maybe. I don't know what kind of technology is in integrated into actual humans in the future. We make angels. That is how I took us to nine new worlds. Nine new worlds, huh? But I can only make so many. Please don't slice her up. Right here. Did she have a baby in her or something? He sliced her. He sliced her. I'm so glad they did not show that. We need more replicants than can ever be assembled. Millions so we can be trillions more. We could storm Eden and retake her. Why do you do that? What did, why, is he, why did you slice her? Tyrell's final trick. Procreation. Perfected then lost. But there is a child. Bring it to me. Oh, he seems like the worst. I have so many questions. I feel like the more I watch, the more questions I have. Wow, look at these freaking holograms right on the street. That is what ads are gonna be like in the future. The man with the green jacket, the one who killed Sapper. Find out what he knows. We still got some of those glowy umbrellas. You alone? Oh boy. I have gone blade runner. Oh, you don't even smile. He really doesn't smile. What's that? It's a tree. Is that his ringtone? And you don't like real girls. Well, I'm always here. Is she a real girl? I can't tell clearly who is real and who is not. And I mean, the replicants are real. This is exactly what's gonna happen in the future. If AI becomes so human-like, we won't be able to tell them apart. And does it matter at that point? That is the worst. I have one dead piano key on my piano as well. That's not like a little baby sock, is it? Is it a date or a serial number? That's a date, man. Maybe not. That number means something to him. He's freaked. You can't take those? Of course not. Proper channels and paperwork, it's all here. Is she gonna kill him? Yeah. Oh, thought it was gonna be. Hold this for a second. <laughs> yeah, all right, okay. <laughs> No emotion. <gasps> His eyes. Holy frig. It's out. Already out. How long did that take? So what do you have for me? And don't say nothing. You gonna tell her about the serial number or whatever it is? The date? Where'd you find it? Sappers. Anything else? I burned everything else. Can he lie? Is that a birthday? Is that a death day? I don't know yet. Oh, okay. Is he lying though? Do you remember anything before you were under me? You have any memories from before? 
I have memories, but... Are they just implanted, though? They're not real. They're just implants. Tell me one from when you were a kid. I have one about a toy that I had, a wooden horse with an inscription underneath. Was it the date? All I remember is a group of boys trying to take it away from me. Yeah, we've seen this. Yeah, yeah. Later on, those kids find me and they beat me to tell them where it is, but I don't. They're all bald. He's not bald. That's it. That's the memory mm. they gave him? That sucks. He's okay fighting for what's his. Should have gave him a nice one. Jeez. I really want to know what that date is now. DNA records. Children born. 6-10-21. You accused the jokes. Can't proceed. <laughs> Run it raw. Hey. Just reading the sequence. Whoa, that's weird. The alphabet of you, all from four symbols. I do want to watch Gattaca. Should I watch Gattaca? You don't prefer your madam? Is she jealous? You didn't like her enough to tell her the truth. Six, ten, and twenty-one. Yeah, what? What? He was lying. I always knew you were special. Is he the child? Maybe this is how. Is he the child? A child of woman born. And if it were true, I'd be hunted for the rest of my life by someone just like me. Right? My life chills everywhere. Put up 4847 and 2181 side by side. What you got? He cracked it. Let's hear it. What do you got? They're identical. Two people can't have identical DNA. One of these isn't real. It's a copy. But which one's the copy? They were both processed at the Moral Coal Orphanage. It says the girl died there. Galatian syndrome. Galatians? Like the Bible? Boy disappears. Where's the orphanage? You wanna go for a ride? Yeah. I like her outfit, her uh, rain poncho thing is just like the one that the replicant is wearing in the first one. Very cool. This is really good. Oh, this music. Well, here we are. Trip to the dump. Who's shooting at them from the dump? Uh oh. Are they just gonna like fling? It's coming in hot. Oh. I mean, is he in danger? They were shooting at him. Maybe they were just trying to get him to land. I mean, presumably he went there to land anyway, right? Oh, this hologram thing is so cool. She's malfunctioning. Oof. Oh man. Who are these people? Oh, he just broke his back. Fire. Oh, it's like missiles. Oh my god. 200 feet to the east. It's her. I see. Stop. Zoom in. Zoom enhance. Do your f job. Find the child. Watch the car. I don't know what we're gonna find here. This is very mysterious. I'm nervous. Oh, wow. Dwellings? Is it a bunch of kids? They're all bald. Just like his dream, her memory. You're in here to work. And is if this... you're not working, I don't need you. Are these children working? What sort do you have in mind? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not buying. A little boy came through here about 30 years back. I need to see your records. I see. This is the orphanage. Jesus. Don't keep records that far back. You don't. I don't. That's bull. <laughs> now you can tell me what you remember. I can put a hole right here and take a look. Bye, it is. Oh, my God. Worst orphanage ever. What did you say? What did you say? Just talking to himself. This, that memory was from this place, yes? Here. It's gone. Yeah, is it ripped out? Looks ripped. It's the, the entire year. I don't me. Man, this guy can't catch a break. I feel like he should watch his back. It's a horse. And in the first movie, the unicorn did symbolize something, I think. Is he gonna go try and find the horse? I think you should. Please go find it. We should know if that's real or not. I guess it's somebody's memory and they just implanted it. This music is unnerving. Oof. I have chills everywhere. The way it's like, it's gonna be there for sure. Oh my God, this music. They're just holding on this one shot. Oof. There it is. 
He is freaked. I mean, does it mean that his memory is real? I always told you, you're special. Right? Born, not made. Is he human or a replicant? Your mother would have named you Joe. How do I know if a memory is an implant or not? That's a good question. Who makes the memories? Yes, find them and ask them. Yeah, that's the real question. I mean, he has the memory and the horse is real. So if the memory is an implant, it could be anyone's. But if the memory is his, then he's the kid. Does she make the memories? Dr. Anastoline. Is this a real forest or not? Oh, no. Nope. Hologram forest. Oh, right. There's no trees. Yeah, right. The compromised immune system. A life of freedom, so long as it's behind glass. Just to live in that room? But she can hologram anything. Thought you might be able to help me with the case. Oh, that's the most interesting thing I've been offered to help with in ages. I like her. Work while you talk. I promise I hear every word. Is she making memories right now? They say you're the best memory maker there is. Right. Well, then they're kind. That would be a cool job. Wallace needs my talent to maintain a stable product. I can't help your future, but I can give you good memories to think back on and smile. Or scary ones. Are they all constructed or do you ever use ones that are real? It's illegal to use real memories, officer. They all think it's about more detail, but that's not how memory works. Memory is shady. Anything real should be a mess. I can show you. Anything real should be a mess, indeed. Now, think about the memory you want me to see. Not even that hard, just picture it. I think she's definitely gonna be able to figure this out. She's upset. Someone left this, yes. This happened. How can she tell? Well, that's it then. He's the one! I know it's real. Does she know what that means? If he is a replicant and he has a real memory of childhood, then he's not like the other ones. <laughs> Whoa. Madam is calling you in. Under arrest? Why? For going here? What's it like to hold the hand of someone you love? Interlinked. Interlinked. Within cells interlinked. He paused for a second. Within one stem. And dreadfully distinct. And dreadfully distinct. Against the dark. Against the a dark. A tall white. Anomaly detected. You're not even close to baseline. But what does that mean? I put you on a case. And then we pick you up fucking around outside an upgrade center? Scan said you didn't look like you on the inside, miles off your baselines. I found the kid. Is he gonna tell her it's him? He was set up like a standard replicant put on a service job. Even he didn't know who he was. Does she know now? Does she get it? And? And it's done. What does that mean it's done? What you asked. He's gonna say I killed him? You just stopped a bomb from going off. Surrender your gun and badge, and your next baseline test is out of my hands. How would he get back on baseline? Snow. All right, now where? I mean, he knows the truth now. Now what do we do? You were right about everything. Shh. Oh, well, well, well. Thought you weren't interested, worky man. Did she call her? Yeah, she set this up. I want to be real for you. You are real for me. I need a special lady here. Is this just a distraction? Let's do it. I see. Look at you. Quiet, now I have to see. So it's gonna be like, she's the body, I see. This is so crazy. Oh, it's like going back and forth between them. Is it close enough? He looks so sad. Man, but if he tells secrets to her, who knows those secrets? Who can access that? That seems important to know. What you doing? Putting a tracker on him? It's from a tree. I'm done with you. You can go now. Quiet now. I've been inside you. Not so much there as you think. <laughs> Burn. They'll be coming after me soon. I'm coming with you. You have to delete me from the console. My present. If anything happens to this, that's it. You're gone. Like a real girl. That's true, I guess. I want this, but I can't do it myself. So he's deleting her from the, the whole system except for the stick? Break yeah. the antenna. I like all the reflection of water in that office. What are we doing here? Real wood. I don't need a real horse. Where would you get a real horse? I just want to find out where it's from. Duke, what? Duke. 
Hal mer clear. Hmm? I'll stick with Arsan and call him here. Where? 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 There's only one place that dirty. Mm-hmm. Nobody lives there. She's going to track him down. And... <laughs> Oof! This this pulsing is so intense. Radiation analysis. Are these more lady statues? Life. What is it? Guess we're about to find out. Where is he? Is she gonna kill her? You're too late. It's gone. He destroyed it. Mm mm. Well, except for the box of bones that you already took. <laughs> oh, oh God! The glass in her hand. She's gonna smash her. I'm gonna tell Mr. Wallace you try to shoot me first. That's why I had to kill you. And do what you gotta do. Knifed her. Okay. She actually cries quite a bit. Location officer KD6-3.7. <laughs> yeah, he's going to wherever the hell this is. Look at that shot. That's freaking gorgeous. Woof. Oh, man. This is freaky. Something alive? Or is it a robo bug? This is creepy. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. Oh, I don't like bees. I know they're very important. And I do like that they dance and do math, but they freak the shit out of me when I see them. Oh God, I could never. Why? That cut to silence? Come on. What the heck? I wonder if he'll find anyone there. Oh, booby trap. He's so smart. Well, maybe he just has like sensors. I feel like is something just gonna pop out at any moment. It's very silent. Ooh, nice piano. I don't know what he's gonna find here. Is it a dog? I didn't happen to have a piece of cheese about you now. Piece of cheese. Treasure Island. Ah. <gasps> he reads. Me too. Many is the night I dream of cheese. Just dreaming of cheese. <laughs> I hear that. I love cheese. You're a cop. Explain who you are. I'm not here to take you in. Oh, yeah? Yeah. For real, he's got other stuff going on. I just have some questions. What questions? Shot at him. Tell him who you are. Tell him what's going on. Work together. Ooh, I want them to work together. It is a dog. A dog! I need them to work together. Tell them what you're doing. Tell them about the thing, the whole, everything. <gasps> oh, oh, sweet booby trap. A hologram? Yeah, oh yeah. Just some Elvis holograms. Should I watch the Elvis movie that just came out? Let me know. Don't have to hunt him, man. <sighs> Come on, guys. Don't fight. Thought he might headbutt him. I don't want to hurt you, but you're not making it easy. Got a good punch in. Okay. Is he just letting him? Why isn't he fighting back? Is he just trying to prove he's not there to hurt him? <laughs> Is he like, okay? I like this song. Me too. We could keep it this or we could get a drink. Up, boy. Okay, let's talk. Let's talk it out, boys. This is really something. This is where he lives. The whole town is something. I got millions of bottles of whiskey. <laughs> That's for the dog? No. Don't give your dog liquor. That's not good. I hope that was just water. Is it real? Ask him. That's true. It's probably not a real dog. Robo dog. Still a good boy. I want to ask you some questions. Like what? Like what was your name? The mother of your child. You two live here together? Too many questions. What's her name? I mean, it's Rachel, right? Rachel. Yeah. I have so many questions. What happened to the kid? Who put it in the orphanage? Was it you? So what is this, his dad? It was long gone by then. Everyone had a part. Mine was to leave. Sometimes to love someone. You gotta be a stranger. You gotta tell him the truth. Tell him, tell him, tell him. The strangers. Maybe Harrison Ford isn't a replicant. He's a human, and then he's part human, part replicant. Uh-oh. Oh, right. These guys know where he is. Oh, frig. Gonna have to make a last stand there. <laughs> he's a good boy. What'd you do? Who'd you bring? Huh? No one. Are they just gonna bomb him? Get they know you're here. Uh, I run. Alone. I bet Harrison Ford has a go bag, though. 
I think you guys should run. With this music. Yeah, he's already running. Is he locking him in? Get out, get out, get out. Oh my god, what? Oh, frig! Well, they'll have to get back to his car then. Kill squad. Don't kill him. Oh, those masks are freaky. And they're just gonna capture them both? Oh, frig, frig this music. He got shot. Oh, well, not shot. He got a piece of shrapnel or something. Go, dude. Is he alright? Oh, nice! Oh, I was wondering if the girl was there. Yeah. Bad dog. She's the worst. Stop! Oh. Is he trying to save the stick? He's trying to save her. No. I do hope you're satisfied with her product. I love you. Oh my god. I know she was just a hologram, but he cared about her. And she cared about him. Oh, I thought they took them. They just left them? So who is she really? She put the tracker on him. Rescued him, it looks like. There's someone who wants to meet you. Who? You can trust us. I want to. This is Fraser. I recognize you. Did you help him hide the child? I saw a miracle delivered. Maybe she knows something more. Were you with her, Rachel? I held her as she died. A revolution is coming, and we're building an army. I want to free our people. Revolution. You led Wallace to Dickard. You cannot allow Dickard to lead Wallace to me. You must kill Dickard. Oh, he's still alive, I see. Dickard only wanted his baby to be safe, and she is. She? Rachel had a daughter. What? Explain more. Say more things. You imagined it was you. Yeah, we all did. Me included. It's not him. You did. We all wish it was us. But he has the memory. That's why we believe. I really thought it was him. Someone lived this, yes. I showed him how to scramble the records, cover their tracks. Is it the girl that he met, the memory girl? I dressed her in blue when it was time for her to go. There's a bit of every artist in their work. Oh! Well, that explains why she's so upset. I felt like I should have seen that coming. That makes sense why she was so upset. Okay. Oh man, what are they gonna do to him? I don't think Ryan Gosling's gonna kill him, that's for sure. All the courage in the world cannot alter fact. Maybe I'm finally gonna find out if he's a replicant or not. I have wanted to meet you for so very long. This is gonna be interesting. You are a wonder to me, Mr. Deckard. I had the lock. I found the key. Yet the pins do not align. The door remains... What is it, a head? Is it a head? I need the specimen it's a head. to it's reach a... it, Mr. Deckard. The child. I'll never tell you. This is creepy as shit. And God, remember Rachel. Do you like our owl? It's artificial. I'm trying to get inside his head here. Don't let him get to you, man. All these years you looked back on that day. How shiny her lips. Her lips were very shiny. I do remember that as well. Did it never occur to you that's why you were summoned in the first place? That is, if you were designed. I was just gonna say designed. Do they mean as a replicant or like by God, as a human? Help me and very, very good things can come to you. I'm curious what he thinks he could actually give him that he would want. You don't have children, do you? Well, I have millions. Are his eyes because he is a robot or is he blind? An angel made again for you. Is it Rachel? It looks like her shoulder pads and her hair. It is Rachel. Is it, is it gonna be the same? How'd they do Did that me? for this movie? Don't you love me? I mean, it's not really her. Is it? I don't know. Her eyes were green. Oh, didn't get it quite right. Not close enough. <gasps> you do not know what pain is yet. You will learn. Like torture. Hello, handsome. He looks awful. Whoa. You look lonely. Jeez. You look like a good job. Not gonna shoot himself. Dying for the right cause is the most human thing we can do. Don't do it. Don't do it. Because you've never seen a miracle. 
Oh man, it's music. Oh! And then it gets way better. Oh, I like that. What is that? Electric guitar? Modulated? Where are we going? Home. This music is giving me chills. Uh-oh. Is he gonna kill Harrison Ford? Can we make it? You're too low! So what, you're gonna crash? Take us back! I think he's gonna rescue him. He's not gonna kill him. He's gonna rescue him. They're gonna work together. Jeez. Oh, I thought maybe she got knocked out for good. She looks pissed. Get us up. This is so full, the sound. This must have been wild to see in the theater with this sound. Open the door. Kill her now. Don't kill Deckard. I don't think he will. Maybe he will. Kill her. Oh, he got her. He got her. He got her. She's still alive? Where the heck are they? Oh, boy. Oh, no. Oh, crap. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. Get that blade away from her. <laughs> come on, come on, somebody let him out. Jeez. Oh, for all this waiting. He got her. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Get her, get her, get her. Oh, man. Fight to the death here. Finish her. I can't believe this sound level has just maintained this whole time. Whew. She's dead, right? I need to know who scored this movie. I did not notice if they showed it at the beginning. I must know. Did he disappear? Where is he? Oh, I thought he did the old Irish goodbye. Man, I don't know where the heck they are, but this is some rough weather. You should have let me die out there. You did. You drowned out there. I mean, that's what he's gonna tell everyone, he means? You're free to meet your daughter now. Right. Woo. That was... that was intense. Oh, it's so quiet now. Snow does make things very quiet, because it like... like this layer of insulation over everything that would normally bounce sound. All the best memories are hers. I feel kind of bad for him now. I thought he had a purpose, maybe. Who am I to you? Go meet your daughter. You okay? I like them together. Yeah, like now what for him, though? With that camera tilt. Like he was injured, right? Is he just gonna die now? <sighs> he is just gonna die now. Is he dead? <gasps> Just a moment. Beautiful, isn't it? <sighs> yeah. Wow. That was intense. Okay guys, well that was Blade Runner 2049. And I really liked that one. That was really, really good. It was beautiful to look at. Intense, especially the music. It was pretty much like a big mystery. I'm still like processing how it all actually played out. It was intense. And I, I really didn't think he was gonna die at the end. I guess it makes sense. I wanna understand more about like what the message of the film is, I guess, if, if there is one. I feel like there was sort of a message in the first Blade Runner about like what it means to be human, like the humanity that the replicants actually showed. And, and I'm just trying to figure out if there's some sort of message or similar message or different one in this movie. So let me know what you guys think about that. And we still never definitively got an answer on whether Deckard is a replicant or not. But this movie made me kind of feel like it doesn't really matter because he still had a child that was like a miracle and that was more important ultimately than finding out whether he was actually a replicant or not. Based on the first movie, I do think he's a replicant. And he was living in that like barren wasteland with radiation where no other people could go. So if humans can't survive there, but he's been living there, that leads me to believe he is a replicant. But again, I don't I don't think that was important. It certainly didn't seem important in this film. What a what a crazy movie. And it makes you really think about the future 
technology, AI. I really like the hologram girl. She was really cool. And I really felt bad when she died, even though she wasn't even as fully formed as a full replicant. She, she was just a hologram, but I don't know. She had like a real connection. So it makes, it does make you think about connection to others, connection to technology. Yeah, I'm sitting here thinking about a lot of things. I have a cat on my lap, if you can't see this. Excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me, do you mind? Excuse me, do you mind? <laughs> the mystery really did fool me too. I knew when we were watching the scene with the girl who makes memories that she got really upset and I was kind of like, why is she so upset? But then I forgot about that and I did think that Kay was the child. So I was right there with him when he found out it wasn't him. I was just as surprised as he was. I like this one a lot. I will say, while I found this film very beautiful, I really liked it. A lot of gorgeous shots, really vibrant colors great lighting. I did not think it was the same level of style, I guess, like that noir style as the first Blade Runner. Not that it needs to be. And it took place, you know, in the future from that. And the world had gone through changes, the blackout, whatever that was, the world had changed. So it would make sense that it wouldn't look and feel the same in this movie. I kind of really loved the noir style of the first one so, so much. And I didn't need that in this one, but I just definitely noticed that like it, it wasn't that noir style in this one. Maybe it was a little bit, but it definitely didn't lean into it like the first one did. MVP of this movie, I am gonna give to the music. I loved the music. It really did remind me kind of of Dune. It was very intense. I feel like I felt it in my bones. There was even one super low frequency that like, it like I felt like it was shaking my body. I really felt it, it was very visceral. So I really, really love the music in this one. I love the music in the first one too. I love the music in this one. So the music is my MVP. Loki MVP is trickier. I liked a lot of the characters. I liked Kay a lot. I liked the hologram girl a lot. Loved Harrison Ford, obviously. So I think I will just give the Loki MVP to Kay or Joe, whatever we want to call him, Ryan Gosling. I really love him. I think he's great. And this was like an understated performance because he was playing like a replicant, like a stoic replicant. So it made the moments where he did have some emotion kind of stand out that much more. Like when he screamed, that was really intense. At the very end, he had like the slightest smile when he was with Harrison and forward and it just made it seem like he was like at peace with what had happened and he was ready to let go so yeah i just i i liked him in this i thought he was really good so i will give joe the low key mvp and the worst word i guess we're gonna give it to wallace i feel like i want to know more about this world about about him about what he was trying to do i have so many questions like he wanted the replicants to be able to reproduce because he said he needed more than he could ever make himself to take over the stars or whatever he said. Did he still feel like he could control all of them? Cause you would think he, of anyone, he wouldn't want them to be able to produce. Anyway, so it seemed like he was up to no good and I'm gonna give him the worst award. Overall, this one was awesome. I really, really liked it. I feel like I could watch both of them again. I wonder if they're gonna be doing any more Blade Runners in the future. I feel like there's more to this story. Here's hoping there's more Blade Runners to come. And thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too. I will see you next time. Bye guys.